Okay, so this is uh, day one on a very exciting yet daunting project. Um, so we're here on this site of uh, what was a housing and planning department um, project for the city of Austin. And um, this is one of those uh, studies and trying to figure out how to create new um, dwellings for people, you know, experiencing different levels homelessness you know how can we make something more affordable and so this is the um, box bazaar project that they started in 2017 and so it was all of these uh, shipping containers and they got them up on these trailers so that they're mobile they can move them around and the idea was that you know people could rent these out um, you know they've got air conditioning so they are they would be considered livable spaces i'm not sure if they had bathrooms or something built in probably not but they were going to be kind of rentable and so in order to make them a little bit more accessible being up on these trailers they had to build this deck and so they had all this uh decking material that they built and um long story short you know the project didn't get to where they wanted it to and ended up being shut down and They've got all this material, all this decking, 2,200 square feet of decking that uh, needs to go somewhere. And um, of course, as soon as I saw it, I jumped, jumped right on it because, hey, this is a ton of material. I can do a lot of stuff with this, with this on the project for uh, the Carver Community Garden. And as you see, this is the same uh, furniture that I did and that I restored one of them so there's looks like there's three more um, three more benches and then we got this table actually there's a ton more benches I didn't even and then you got all those back there so just a ton of stuff we got all this decking material that uh, I'm gonna need to transfer over to the carver and uh, as per usual, I always like to uh, take on big projects, even if they end up being me doing a lot of the work. Uh, it turns out I might actually have some additional help on this thing, so it shouldn't be as bad, but I was at least willing to come out here by myself to at least get most of this done. And uh, so it's probably gonna take a couple weeks, I imagine. Um, you know, as I work a day or two, It'll give me a pretty good uh, estimate on kind of what, how long it's going to take. But this is, uh, you know, it's really exciting. There's a lot of, a lot of good material that's just a couple years old. And we're going to be able to do a lot of stuff with this. And uh, so I'm going to do my best to kind of record stuff as I go. And um, we'll kind of see how it, uh, see how it goes. But it's just a ton of, it's just going to open up a ton of, a ton of uh, um, options for the Carver Community Garden site. Um, we can definitely put this ramp to use. I've got a couple ideas there, but all this uh, all this material will have to get transferred over. And I mean, it's just that's tons, and it's probably that's a lot of money of uh, material. And for only being a couple years old, it's still in fairly decent shape, you know. A lot of this uh, decking can probably be um, restained, um, you know, pr pressure wash and then restained. But um, there's just a, a ton of potential. And even if it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a lot of work. And um, but I think uh, I'm not afraid of that. You know, I've been working hard my whole life, and uh, this is no different. And it's more exciting about what this is going to do to the carver space and uh then being concerned about you know having something be too much work so so here we go we got this big project and um after trying to get this thing squared away secured past uh month month and a half it's really nice to be able to get started big project but a lot of potential Okay, out here, covered in sweat, been working. Uh, we got another load of these uh, 
these benches. Got three more loaded up, ready for transport. And uh, got most of this, uh, most of this siding has been taken off. So luckily it's all, it was all fastened with screws. So it hasn't been too bad. Uh, kind of chasing, trying to beat the, um, the rain, because that's definitely moving in. You can start to feel the wind picking up. So we'll see how much more I can do. Oh, we got the droplets already. So that's all, paneling's all pulled off. And we're gonna leave these ramps as they are for as long as possible, um, because that's how I'm gonna get stuff down. And I've started uh, deconstructing the deck, which is, you know, it's a lot of screws every, probably about every foot. So, I mean, it's a decent amount. Um, so that's how it is. It's probably about a four foot drop or something like that. That's what I figure. And uh, so, you know, you kind of got to just take a row and go on down the row. And so it's going to be a lot of fasteners. Yeah, it's definitely starting to rain, but I mean, you can see that's all the screws, you know, just for that section and then some of the rows over there. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of a lot of fastener, a lot of screws left over to, uh, you know, most of them will be able to be, some of them uh, get, you know, the screws are bent or they break as they're getting torqued out. Um, you know, more of the kind of paneling has been taken off down here and same thing here, we're going to leave this ramp until we got all the material off, off of there and then we'll, we'll tackle that because I will be trying to reuse this, this ramp for, for something over at the, uh, the garden and uh, so most of the paneling is taken off around the different various sections uh, the little things I needed uh, to have some construction debris so there's nails and stuff and that so I don't want to avoid that panel there um, uh, oh yeah it's it's uh, it's starting to sprinkle so I better uh, I better wrap it up might have called a little bit earlier today, um, just so I'm not out here. If it starts to uh, get a little bit of thunder and lightning action, I don't want to be out here for that. Especially out here, we've got a battery charged. Um, I'm going to take that panel off. But you can kind of see what's hidden underneath, what's hidden behind the paneling, and how that deck was basically built. So you got these concrete. Uh, base uh, bases and uh, you know standard for four by four posts. And these posts, these four by four posts, I figure they're about six feet tall. So six feet tall to go all the way up. And so once you know all this decking is removed and then these panels are removed, um, I'll be able to cut those at the right height that I need them, and then be able to transport like a full section at a time. <laughs> And uh, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, four by four, a lot of two by four, uh, all this decking material, which is probably inch, inch and a quarter um, by four or five inches uh, wide. And um, and then we got some two by eights down there. So a lot of two by eight lumber. And if you look, I mean, this stuff is really, this is pressure treated lumber. So it's real good stuff. Pressure treated lumber still ages. So, you know, after a few years, it starts looking at, like that. But you flip those boards over and it looks like that. So it's like very good shape. Um, so when I install it, however, whatever I end up installing at the garden, I'll basically just flip all these boards over and, um, and it'll basically almost look like brand new material, especially as you're uh, pulling these screws out. Um, these guys, these screws are kind of countersunk a little uh, pretty deep so they do pull up a little bit of material as they're coming up just like that so you flip them over and so whenever they get installed they'll get installed this side facing up and so you really just have those those holes the spindle hole, screw holes and that's it so it'll look real good um we'll need to do a whole lot of stuff maybe pressure washing maybe sand a little a little bit of it down um but besides that um you know, and then probably stain it, but it's, it's some real good material. Uh, same thing with these two by eights, you know, I'll probably uh, flip them. And, uh, you know, this side, which was installed up, 
will get installed upside down. And uh, that's just another way that you can keep these boards from rotting out because this is where they're gonna rot out. Um, as you get the screws in, in there, that's where the water's gonna just start to, to rot, rot down. And sometimes I've actually seen people starting to use uh, zip tape and they actually lay zip tape um, over the top. And so that prevents a lot of that, that top-sided uh, rot um, that ends up deteriorating these types of boards and ends up ruining decks where you have to rebuild them. And um, so I don't know, I have to see uh, see what I want to do, uh, see if I if that's in the budget, if I want to fork over money for, for zip tape, which is, which is not cheap, but uh, definitely helps. Um, def definitely, definitely adds to the lifetime um, use of material and so yeah this is kind of like first aid just kind of getting it getting it going and a lot of stuff to do but you know i don't really feel too overwhelmed like oh i i, I bit off more than i could chew you know when i uh came here the first couple of times to check it out i kind of knew what i was going to get myself into and started thinking about okay what can i do how can i uh, do this project and uh so I think the biggest thing is going to be actually transport. So transporting all this stuff is going to be the biggest thing. So taking it apart, I don't think it's not going to be too bad. Um, it's just going to be, you know, loading things up and then transporting and going back and forth um, to eventually clear the site. So we'll see how it goes, but this is kind of getting close to the end of day one and we'll see how day two goes. You know, we're kind of, kind of all, it's always dependent on the weather depending on what's going on. Um, so we'll see kind of how long I can work today. And then we'll try to get a full day on uh, tomorrow. And we got, we got hornets, just hornets and wasps everywhere. So, you know, that always adds a little bit of uh, excitement to the job, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. And we'll come back uh, tomorrow, do some more and um, just keep knocking it out. How about that? The sky uh, looks like it's about to open up and then closes right back up. Um, still going. It's almost uh, going on four o'clock, so got even more uh, stuff done. Thought I was going to have to call it early. I uh, probably probably would have been okay if I did, but uh, you know what? I'm here. Might as well uh, might as well be useful, right? So yeah. So just. Uh, Knocking this out, I'm going to leave kind of a little pathway so I can kind of walk around. And I think I'm going to try to stage materials. So I'm going to like move that section over there so I can stage materials right there. So, you know, you can basically load, load directly into the trailer or the truck. And uh, same thing over here. I think I'm going to knock this uh, fence inside down stage materials right here on the deck and then i'll be able to just you know back right up and uh load them easy you know because it's about trying to figure out how to work smart you know it's always good to work hard but this age you gotta start working smart um so I'm gonna see how much more i can do have to go make sure i can get back and uh, offload the stuff I got loaded right now and, and call it a day for this site. But I'll be back, uh, be back tomorrow. So let's see what else I can do. And uh, that's it for now.